What's going on guys? Welcome back. My name is Caleb and I'm going to be your tutorial video guide and everything else you can imagine. So thank you for watching this video and if you paid attention to the last video we just created a Code Academy account. So now we need to go to the Code Academy homepage which is where we're at. We need to scroll down and let's go to language skills. Let's go over to HTML and CSS because that's going to be the first one. And you may be wondering, well, why don't we start off and start doing JavaScript or jQuery or PHP, Python, and Ruby. And that's because these are more advanced and you should, honestly, you should have the, um, the basis before you get into the more advanced stuff. So, I mean, why build a house with no foundation when your house is just going to collapse? That's what's going to happen whenever you start trying to jump into Ruby and you don't know any of the syntax or have any idea of how anything works or what a function is. So with that being said, we're going to start off with the easy HTML and CSS. And in this course, we're going to learn how to create websites by structuring and styling our pages with HTML and CSS. So that, as you can see, there's 4.5 million plus in students enrolled. There's over seven hours of course time, and this is going to be a beginner uh, required technical level. So, as you can see now, we're getting into the introduction to HTML. This is the, one of the first lessons, second lessons, and then it keeps going all the way down and down and down. So, you probably won't have a check mark beside yours because you probably haven't even completed it yet or started. But I completed all of this, so I already have check marks. So, we're just going to go ahead and pretend like that's not there. So, let's go ahead and go to the HTML basics, fundamentals of HTML. That's going to be the first lesson, lesson to the introduction to HTML. And let's go ahead and reset our code. So, why learn HTML? Every web page you look at is written in a language called HTML. You can think of HTML as a skeleton that gives every web page structure. In this course, we'll use HTML to add paragraphs, headings, images, and links to a web page. In the editor to the right, there's a tab called test.html. This is the file we'll type our HTML into. See the code with the brackets? Well, that's HTML. Like any language, it has its own special syntax or rules for communicating. In quick overview right here, this is going to be our editor. As you can see, we have different tabs up here. Later on, when we get into more advanced HTML, we'll have an HTML tab, a CSS tab, and then a JavaScript tab. And right now, we just have an HTML, so all you see is this right here. You can also type whatever you want down here below, as you can see. Then over here to the right hand side, this little square, this is going to be our preview window where it's going to go ahead and render whatever we type over here in the HTML. It's going to go ahead and render over here in our preview. When we press save and submit code, the results tab will act like an internet browser. Example, Chrome, Firefox, Internet Explorer, and etc. A browser's job is to transform the code in the test.html file into a recognizable web page. It knows how to lay out the page by the following the HTML syntax. So pretty much whenever we click this button down here, it's just pretty much saying that it's going to render our code and then you'll be able to lay it out over here in the preview. And then like I said, you can always reset your code. So our instructions. To the right, we have a test.html file, which is right here in our editor. Change the text on line 2, the bit between the strong tag and the closing strong tag, to anything you like. And at the moment, we're just not going to worry about what that is. 3. Hit Save and Submit Code, and then you'll see how the test.html file would look in the browser. Did you see that? The strong tags made our text bold. So as you can see, right here we have our first tag on line 1, we have our second tag on line 2, and then in between our strong tag, you have an opening strong tag, and then you have a closing strong tag right here. And all it wants us to do is just to change this text. So I'm going to go ahead and delete it, and it would be awesome just to say, hello world. Because hello world is always the best way to start out. And as you can see over here, it changed everything from, you can change this text to hello world. And as you can see, it's now bolded. So let's go ahead and save and submit. As you can see, we got way to go with the green light. So let's start the next lesson. 
HTML and CSS. HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language. Hypertext means text with links in it. Anytime you click on a word that brings you to a new web page, you've clicked on Hypertext. A markup language is a program language used to make text do more than just sit on a page. It can turn text into images, links, tables, lists, and much more. HTML is the markup language we'll be learning. What makes web pages pretty? Well, that's CSS, and CSS is Cascade Styling Sheets. Think of it like the skin and bones, or think of it like skin and makeup that covers the bones of HTML. We learn HTML first and then worry about CSS in later courses. The first thing we should do is set up the skeleton of the page. Always put a doc type HTML tag on the first line. This tells the browser what language it is reading. In this case, it's going to be HTML. Always put an HTML tag on the next line. This starts the HTML document. And always put a closing HTML tag on the last line. And this will end the HTML document. So as you can see, if we reset our code, well, you really shouldn't have saw that there. But anyways, <laughs> go ahead and put the three lines mentioned above into the test.html, which is now blank. In between the second and last line of the HTML tag and the closing HTML tag, feel free to write whatever message you like. So, the very first thing it wanted us to do is to put a doc type. And once again, we're going to do an open brace, an exclamation mark, and it's important to have doc type capitalized. And then we're going to say HTML. And then we're going to put a less than sign. So it's greater than exclamation mark doc type HTML less than. There we go. Now we're going to start our HTML tag. And as you can see, whenever we close that tag, it automatically made a closing HTML tag. So you may be wondering what the difference is between an opening tag and a closing tag. As you can see, an opening tag, and I'm sure it goes over this, is, is just HTML, and then a closing tag has a backslash. That way you know you're closing the tag, which I just drug it, but we need to go back there. There we go. And then it says type whatever we want in between. So we'll just say hello world again, and then save and submit. Oops, make sure you put it in your open HTML tag. Oh. Well, it would help if we spell HTML correctly, and not HMTL, HTML. And there we go. So let's start the next lesson. So, and let's reset our code. So basic terminology. To learn more HTML, we should learn how to talk about HTML. Already you have seen we use the greater than and less than signs a lot. Inside the greater than and less than lines are called tags. Tags nearly always come in pairs, an opening tag and a closing tag. An example of an opening tag is like this, greater than and then our tag name, which in this case will be HTML, and then the less than sign. An example of a closing tag is going to be the same exact thing of a greater than symbol, but except a closing tag has the backslash, and then the closing tag name, which in this case is HTML, and then a less than sign. You can think of tags as being like parentheses. Whenever you open one, you should always close it. Tags also nest, so you should close them in the right order. The most recently opened tag should be the first one closed, like this in the example below. So as you can see, we have the first tag, and then we have the second tag, and then we have some text. And now we're closing the second tag, and then we're closing the first tag again. So you're opening the first tag, then opening the second tag, then closing the second tag, then closing the first tag. That way, the second tag is nested within the first tag. And it would probably make more sense if they didn't put it right here, and if they put it like this. Because now what we can do is we can click Enter, and then we could uh, click enter right here and then what we could do is click enter again and then enter again now what we can do let me just make this nice and pretty we can tap this over tap this over and then just tap this over 
So as you can see now we have our first tag and it's open, then we have our second tag and it's open, then we have some text in between the tag, and now we are closing our second tag because this is the most recent tag open, as you can see this little block is the most recent one open, and now we're closing our first tag, as you can see this, this matches up with the first tag up here because this is the last tag that's open that needs to be closed. Okay, so practice makes perfect one more time. So what we have to do is put the uh, the doc type HTML tag, put in the HTML opening and closing tag between the HTML tags, write whatever you like, press and submit and save your code. So I'm just going to go ahead and click enter and then we just remember we need to go ahead and click doc type again, make sure to have everything capitalized for doc type, then HTML, and I'm just going to cut this out and I'm just going to paste it at the bottom. Now we just save and submit. And as you can see, we got way to go. And once again, we just typed in the doc type. This allows the browser to say, hey, what kind of language are we reading? Well, we're reading HTML as defined right here with the doc type tag. And then we're opening up an HTML tag. And then this is just some gibberish. We really don't need to have that there. But it did specify in the instructions to have something there. So I just left that there. And then we closed our HTML tag again. And if you want to make it look nice and pretty, we can tab it over and indent it. That way, everything looks nice and pretty. So open, 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 close, close, close. All right, way that goes, let's start the next lesson. So make the head. Everything in our HTML file will go between the opening HTML and closing HTML tags. There are always two parts to the HTML file, the head and the body. Let's start with the head. The head contains information about your HTML file, like its title. The title is what we see in the browser's title bar or the page tab. For example, the title of this page is HTML Basics and then a, a, a bracket and then Code Academy. And as you can see, if we look up here on our tab, we see HTML basics and then we see the little colon and then the code academy so the instructions let's add a head and a title to our web page if you get stuck at any point click stuck get a hint below for an example so if you ever get do get stuck you can click get a hint but I mean we're not ever gonna get stuck so number one add an opening head well let's first reset our tags so the first things first, it says add an opening head tag and a closing head tag. So, well, we already know that HTML, the opening and closing HTML tags are going to always be the first tag and the last tag we see. If we see any tags after that, then it is wrong because you can't have any tags after that because this HTML tag starts the document and this closing HTML tag ends the document. And anything outside or before this will not be rendered by the browser. So with that being said, we do now know we have to make our head tag within the HTML tags. So there we go. We have the head tags. Now between the head tags, we're going to uh, add in an opening title tag with a closing title tag. So this is going to be a new tag that we're also learning. It's going to be called the title tag. Not the title, but the title. <laughs> and now within our title, we can say whatever we want. Um, so we can just say my website and then exclamation mark. And then it just says press save and submit the code to continue. So this is pretty much all we're doing at the moment. We're not going to really be able to see it up here. Uh, nor will we be able to see it in our preview window because we don't have a title. But if you are making a website, you would be able to see it up here or on the the uh, the browser's title. So let's go ahead and try and save submit this and see if we get the green light. As you see, we get the green light. So way to go. And that pretty much, well, no, you got paragraphs in the body. So great job. To review an HTML file has both a head and a body. The head is where you put information about your HTML file, like its title. The body is where you put your content, such as text, images, and links. The content in the body is what will be visible on the actual page. 
The body goes inside the HTML tags right after the closing head tags, like this. So it gives you an example down here. So the head tags are here. As you can see, we have an opening and closing head tag, and then we have an open and uh, closing body tag. So cool. So let's reset our code. Now, let's see. It wants this. It says, underneath the closing head tag, put an opening body tag and a closing body tag. So right here, underneath the head tag, we're going to put in the body. Now, the body and head tags are the two main tags in HTML. The head tag is where, like it says, you put your title. This is also going to be where you're going to later on. We'll learn about how we link in our cascade style sheets, or we'll link in our JavaScript or our jQuery or anything that we really need anything from text to fonts to uh, links to scripts to anything in that nature that needs to be uh, downloaded and rendered before our actual uh, HTML web page is displayed will be put into the head tag now everything in the body tag is pretty much whatever is everything that you're going to be seeing on the website or the web page. So everything that you see on the screen right now is within a body tag, except for the HTML title and all the extra links to the, let's just say the CSS and all the JavaScript and all the other stuff that's on here. So anyways. Inside the body, create two paragraphs. Each paragraph starts with an opening P tag or paragraph tag and, and it ends with a closing paragraph tag. You can write content in between the tags like this. So there we go. It gives us an example of Hello World and we're just going to copy that example and just say this is my text. And I just did that in capital, capitalized, I don't know why, but I just did it. So as you can see, our new tag now is going to be just an open brace, or a, a greater than sign, the letter P, a less than sign, and we're going to call that a paragraph tag, because the P represents the paragraph. And then we have a closing paragraph tag, and as you can see, we have, this is my text. And we can have this say whatever we want, so let's go ahead and save and submit our code. Oops, try again. Looks like you only have one set of the P tags. You should have two. Look at that. We should have two paragraph tags. Let's go ahead and make another one. And this is a random text. So here we go. Now let's try to save and submit. And congratulations, we finished this section. So awesome. Great, everyone. Good work. If you made it this far, hopefully you're starting to catch on on what tags are and how the create them and close them and open them and do whatever you want with them really and there are hundreds of tags that we are going to be learning as you can see we have already learned probably like six or seven of them and if you want uh, feel free to go and leave a comment down below if you ever get stuck or if you just want to like the video and subscribe to the YouTube channel to follow further on the next HTML course when we're going to be doing body elements uh, feel free to do that as well. Also guys, thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you in the next one. You guys have a good night.